the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. Love God you. bless you. You know what? This is this is a I really enjoy what we talked about this morning, this Sunday session. And that's I'm gonna break it down to a sections A, B, C, D, you know, whatever it takes to, to finish it out. But I do want to make sure you remember is to subscribe. If you like the video, uh, subscribe to it. Because that's what we need to continue to show that we're doing and we're on the right track. Uh, but if you don't, I'm still going to preach the gospel. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the topic we're talking about today, the subject or the topic we're talking about today is right here. Uh, let me show it to you. I love this one because I'm trying to bring out a point. The point is right here. Uh, the descriptor or the title is down in the far head right corner. And I, I, I moved the other one as far as teaching the gospel is sure way it was written. I put that to the left now so that you can stay focused on what is your responsibility and what is the subject for the day. And this one is talking about is God. And when he said, I did not, and I guess we could change, we could change the title and say, God did not, so nobody will get uh, confused. Uh, but God said, I, I did not call you to be hateful, superior, or seek fame, glory. I didn't call you that. That's the, I don't know where you got that from. I don't know why you think that's important. Because all that said, the, 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 if you're trying to be superior, I didn't call you to be prideful. I didn't call you to be superior. I didn't call you to seek vain glory. I called you to go preach the gospel. I called you to help others receive eternal life. I gave you eternal life if you are in Christ. You have eternal life. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes him should not perish but have everlasting life. He came, he gave his son for you to have eternal life. And now some of you sit there and say, well, I don't, you, you're gonna, once you die, that's it. Then you wanna have faith in that's up to you. But also those, those of us that are believers and many others, know that we believe by faith that there's another that's eternal life. And we want to be in eternal life connected to God. That's what eternal life means. Opposed to eternal death. Disconnected from God. So this topic, and then while we're showing this, uh, this, this week is to get you to internalize what, what you need to do as a believer. You, you call to preach the good news. You call to bring people out of the dark into God's marvelous light. You call to obey the, the, the guidance that God gave or Christ gave. But then you can either go by the law, but the laws are good too. You can go by the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is, is talking about, and you wrap it up in two great commandments to love the Lord thy God with all the heart, all our mind, all that strength, and to love thy neighbors as self. And then Christ said, I gave you a new commandment in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And 35 said, and men will know that you're my disciples for the love that you have for one another. Let's love one another. And we that are believers are both to encourage people to repent. Because Christ said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So let's do that, amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to make comments. It helps me to understand where I'm at and what I need to do to fix things. Because I'm not perfect. I'm not even trying to be. I know who he is. That's Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. I'll check you later. Bye-bye. If your task, if your commission mm -hmm. is to teach the saints to do the ministry, the work of the ministry. Yes, sir. Right. And you're not doing that. Yeah. Then what, what you're, you're, and you're teaching them to go out and gather people to bring them to you to do the work of the ministry. Yeah. 
Mm. So, so I'm trying to understand what what to call that. Right. You know what? What do I call that? Because it's not the work of the ministry. Come on now. Come on. It's not. It's not the commission that has that has been placed. It's not the mantle that has been placed on you. Come on. If if, if it don't matter which part of the fivefold ministry, so-called fivefold ministry. That's uh -huh. not that's not even in the Bible. That's what we coined it to be. Right. The gifts of, of God. Uh, if that's not their commission, then what what is it? What is it? Yeah. You know what what who who are they listening to? Come who, on now. Who's giving them their marching orders? What, what what's gotten them out of order to the point to where they're not equipping the saints to, to do the work, work. They, of they, the ministry. They're equipping them to isolate themselves from the body, from the rest of the people. They're not equipping them to, to, to call. They're equipping them to retreat from well, the world. They're, they're, they're <laughs> So the picture I just got is you have these people yeah. who are trained to, who resemble those you want to capture. Come on. And they're going out and capturing these people. So it's 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 It's, it's like if you have a a uh, what do you call it? I don't want to call them something different because it sounds a little derogatory. Uh -huh. But you, people know what I mean if they're listening to this. If you have a dog catcher and he's going out and he's catching dogs right. that want to be free <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, so you're restraining them, you're capturing them, you're restraining them, and you're bringing them to a place, you know, that you think is better for them, but they don't know that. Mm. How do they know that if you're not giving them anything? It's, I mean, how can you do that by not sharing the gospel? You're not, you're, they're not sharing the gospel. They're sharing information about the, the church. Yeah. I think in the scripture, one thing is about among yourself, but it's a judge among themselves. Remember that one scripture is something about you do it, you judging among yourselves or something. And it's, it's, I don't know, but it, it's, it's, if you're, you know, I, I remember people talking about This church is so awesome. You need to come to this church. Mm. We have a great praise and worship. And the pastor is a great speaker. Yeah. So come check us out. Come check us out. Yeah. Okay. It's not. I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I am because of Yeshua. Come on in. I, I, am I, I, know, where, I know where you are Come in on. your life right now. I've because been there. Let me tell you my testimony. Come on in. Hey, look, I've been there. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you my testimony. Let me yeah. tell you where I was yeah. and who Yeshua is and how he got me from that to this. Yeah. And because he died for me and he forgave me of this then he in the redemptive work that he did he empowered me to overcome this wow. just from the knowledge of him mm -hmm. and of our God Elohim creator of all that I am who I am and am willing to give you this information because I know I know you Come on now. I know your soul. I know yeah. your spirit. I know where you are. And 
I'm here now. And if you want freedom from that, you can accept him as your Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. Real easy. Yeah. And then bring him to be perfect or her. To equip, get more equipped. Yeah. To be perfected. Come on now. So that they can go out Come and on. do the same thing. Come on. But no, it's not that. It's I know a place. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. delivered me. A place that mm. delivered me. Mm. Not, not a savior. savior. <laughs> not a savior. A place. Woo. Bye. Hey look, by fact, I'm not even I don't even know how to minister salvation to you. Yeah. I just don't know how to do it because they, they didn't teach me how to do yeah, it. Yeah, I wasn't taught taught this, but let me take you somewhere. And so, wow, you know, the 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 vast majority of the world that used to come in mm. and accept has come into onesies and twosies. Yeah, instead of thousands. <laughs> because, because you're right. Because you're right. They were coming in by the thousand. Yeah. Uh, when the disciples, when the day of Pentecost, in other words, the church, as a matter of fact, the people were scattered, right? They, yeah. they were they was being so effective. Could you have thought about this? I, I just thought about this right now. The disciples weren't ran out of Jerusalem. No. It was the converts yeah. that were pushed further and further yeah. out. Yeah. And they, they, cha they changed. They changed. And so they weren't accepted in society because they weren't, they were a peculiar people. Yes, sir. And I guarantee you, they spread the gospel. Yeah. What was the effectiveness of even in the arena? When yeah. they were burning people, yeah. these people were doing what? Praise God. Yeah. I'm being burned alive. Praise yeah. God. And, and, and I don't even think Ooh. you could even think about Ooh. The consequences for being there. Yes, sir. I think the 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 thing that gave them the freedom mm. and the joy and the love Ooh. of what was about to happen yes, was because on the inside there was a change, wow. and they know that this was a means to their transition yes, to eternity. And you had all those people when in the stadium. Yeah. So when you're you're locked into a, a destiny that has been Eternal placed destiny. upon you. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm talking about to to you know yeah. that your transition is before you. Mm. D. If you believe, you believe. Yes, sir. Come on now. If you believe, you believe. They, in other words, you they, hear me? I believe, they believe they had eternal life. Thank you. That this was nothing but a transition Come on. into the next place. So whatever you're going to do to this, no different than, than Christ laid down his life. I mean, he, they on, mutilated yeah. his flesh till it was non-recognizable. He gave it up willingly yeah. because Lovely. it is not about the love of the flesh. It's the soul and the spirit that matter. And they couldn't touch that. They couldn't touch They, they couldn't whip it. They couldn't stab it. They couldn't pierce it. And yet he gave that flesh to them willingly. Mm. And so likewise, these people gave that flesh willingly because they knew what it meant on the other end. They knew who they were, who they, they knew who they were. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, 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 when, when you come to a point to where clarity is a must. Wow. Mm. Yes, sir. Then it, it that 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 clarity that you have because it demands it. Mm. It demands it. And then when you have that corporate anointing that was probably going on in that arena. Yes, sir. No it was affecting the people. In the, the people in the crowd. Yeah. 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 The, the 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 even in the in these these local churches the the corporate anointing and the praise and worship how it stirs up the soul yeah and the body and and you you're actually feeling something tangible on the inside a joy mm. 
that cannot be quenched by oh. any situation. So the world does not matter at that point. Wow. And yet the world was watching. And the world was affected. And, and, and they could, that's why you said Rome couldn't kill it. No. They, they were like, we look, we're using the worst of our tools to, to squash this. And yet they can't, they couldn't control it. Yeah. So they were spreading to, like wildfire. Fire. They had to infiltrate it and manipulate it from wow. the inside. That was the only way mm. that they can be effective in, in, in eliminating this. Yeah, by control the culture. Yeah, let's, let's, let's control it yeah. to, 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 to fit our agenda. Yeah. Our needs opposed to so that it would support us instead of supporting the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and 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 like I said, this thing is always weaponized. It has been, yeah. To yeah. be effective in supporting this world's agenda. Wow, wow. They said they used to send, I think you can look at that book. They don't say they used to send those missionaries first. Yeah. To those to those regions to convert people. Mm -hmm. Then you bring in the look, look, the ungodly. Yeah. The people who don't care. The people that's going to manipulate. The people that's going to, to kill people. You know what I mean? The people are going to use tools other than the gospel. But they sent in the gospel. They sent in the missionaries first. Yeah. And have the audacity to 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 Millions of them that they oh that's why the people talking about control right that was talking about using as as the, the ministry yeah. uh, as a, a tool to control to pacify yeah. people so that the evil people because you know what if they were if they were really the body of Christ they would have spoken against those people that's coming after coming behind them yeah you know so there's some people coming after us but it was forced upon them, you know, they, they, they didn't come into a culture that was unlike their, their Western civilization, mm. you know, and then have that, have it adapt to their culture. They wanted to change these people's way of life physically instead of spiritual. You know what I'm saying? They did. That, that's and, so, and so instead of allowing the spirit of God to change the way these people live, mm. they went and physically restrained these people. They beat them. Here you got somebody who's talking about love, mm. who's physically beating and controlling and, mm. and, and, and stripping the very culture that these people have of yeah. existence. Yeah. And it's not about the outward uh, uh, way of life. Mm. It's the inward. It was, yeah. And 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 to, and, and the sad thing is, <laughs> mm. these, these these people existed that way before these people came. Right. And they could have existed that way and then changed on the inside. And if there were things that were done ungodly, the Holy Spirit would change. Right, exactly. Not yes. you beating somebody, yeah. you know, for a, a sin that you, something that you think is a sin. You exploited them. You and, made and them yet, mind You're gold, with everything. sin, and yeah. who is beating you? Wow. Who's beating you for beating them? And you didn't speak, look, look, the thing about it is the missionaries and stuff didn't even speak against the brutality. That's what I'm just saying too. Like you said, all right. Yeah. They use it as what a was tool. To come. And they, they didn't speak about they what did, was to come. Yeah, they didn't even it's it's like what, do you hear what you're saying? Yeah. You, you you teaching about Christ, and yet you know that the people coming behind you are going to force these people to go in the mines. Uh, sex, look, sex slaves. Yeah. They, they, the brutality. Some of those smashed. I saw one of one of one of the writers was saying is that 
did with the one that uh, Christopher Columbus claimed was thought he was in India, but he said these people would give you the shirt off their backs. Yeah. And then he turned around and said they will make good service. Yeah. And, and then what I hate about that, when you think about it, good service, you brutalized them, you killed them, you forced them into hard labor. In other words, what's a good servant? I, I'm trying to, you know, think about that right, brother. What's a good servant then? A, a dead servant? Yeah. A, 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 a servant in, 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 in what, pain? And, 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 you know, dying, work to death until he died, get well, sick, and nobody cared for him? That's a good Look, servant? Their very existence was an assault on their lives. Just because they showed up, sickness and disease showed up. They, they, just from them showing up to an island, mm -hmm. the entire indigenous people of those islands died from the, the disease mm -hmm. that they brought to those islands. Yes, sir. So just from them showing up, death followed. Now, who 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 does that sound like? And they, and they had to they, they had to dance it across for them. Ain't that something? That, look, that look, cross look. means nothing. It's the person who's on it that means everything. And and they, but the people that was carrying it. Called, you know, they weren't preaching the gospel, they were preaching no. death. Yeah. They were, wow, think about it, brother. That, oh. In other words, Rome was effective in showing these people how to be what conquerors, how to manipulate people. And not to go for them as being sinners that need a physician, but sinners that need to be beaten to submission, yeah. enslaved, and exported. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and you, you know, you bring whew, physical, <laughs> physical control mm. to bring about a a a spiritual change. How, how does that work? <laughs> how does that work? I was sitting there one day, matter of fact, I saw something the other day, we were talking about the, uh, I was listening to the uh, Africa once again, it was talking about the, the colonizers, right? And the audacity of them, after they had beaten their leaders, killed their leaders, cut their leaders' heads off, put some of their leaders' heads in jars, and send them back to Europe. Follow me. And, and, and have the audacity to come and talk about human rights. Mm -hmm. You are you can't get the words going out. We we talk my fact look, I'm bringing even more modern days. We go to country to teach them how to have a fair elections. Mm -hmm. And then we criticize our own elections when we don't get go when we don't have an hour. Yeah. We Wow, I mean, just it's called hypocrisy. And Christ warned us of that. And, and, and look at this one, and let's check this out. And we, we, we close these last two slides. And then, uh, the last two call, yeah, let's, let's see. Man, bro, are you getting, you like, did they kind of like throw you off? It's like, man, we, we're preaching, we're talking about what the gospel is supposed to be and how yeah. they've been manipulated yeah. for for years now. That's what we're talking about. So check this out. Let me bring it up. And let's start this. He he warned us of this stuff, brother. Even Paul warned us of it. Even Moses warned people of this stuff. That's going to happen, right? Me and Moses talking about, yeah, you're going to, when I leave, you're going to have some people. They're going to turn you away from God. 
Yeah, they're gonna kill you thinking that they're doing the work for me, doing, doing my work. Crazy. Matthew 4, 3. And when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angel charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. And Yeshua said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Yeah, before we go, but not being hateful. You're not called to be hateful. You're called to be to good news. You're not called to be superior. You're called to be children of God. And if that in itself is superior, then you call it others to be as well. It's not something that's only isolated for a selected few who can own. Because matter of fact, you think about it, if we deal with black superiority or white superiority or brown superiority or, or Jew superiority or any of those superiorities, those things are all perishing. And then you have to go and meet God. You're all accountable to God. So let's do the right thing. Let's learn to love one another. You're not called to be hateful. You're not called to be superior. You're not called to seek vanguard. You're called to preach the gospel. And you, and most of you who claim to be Christians are really making it a challenge for those who want to preach the gospel because the history of those who proclaim their Christians but we're not, because the tree is known by its fruit. You are trying to tell people that we're evil, we're hateful, we're, we're judgmental, and we want to keep you out, opposed to bringing you in. We're supposed to bring in the world, saints, if you are in Christ. But for you that's not in Christ, God is saying, I want you. And it doesn't matter how low you go, I want you to repent and come toward him. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.